Max Hammer's line, the sickle, was definitely the gnarliest one. It's usually a line that takes rappelling, and it looked like you could ski it without ropes. After a few recon missions and just staring at Mount Moran, it was just so obvious that that was kind of the next goal, that that was the place to go. But the problem is during winter, it's a six mile approach across the lake just to get to the base of it. Oh, see, cause this broke. Okay, here's the problem. The logistical side of things, people might not always realize how complicated it is to film something that far out there in the national park. Camping in the winter, like you need a lot of stuff. We had help from a bunch of porters who came in. And I mean, we couldn't have done it by ourselves for sure. They were like really key. And it was a full on undertaking, but once you're there and you're established, all these lines are literally out the front door of your tent. We made this plan for the first sunny day of the trip. We'd have three different crews going to three different parts of the mountains, leaving at three different times. When planning our day, we kind of picked the time we wanted to drop and then work backwards and kind of guessed when everybody should start. Max Hammer's line, the sickle, was definitely the gnarliest one. It's usually a line that takes rappelling, and luckily we've had a lot of really good snow, and it looked like you could ski it without ropes. This is gonna be the hardest move, and afterwards it's gonna be like in it to the bottom, I think. I don't think they'll be shutting it down too much afterwards. For all three of those lines to go down, like we had to have three different groups, three different guides. We had to make sure camera crews were set up in the right spot to film all of it, along with uh, the helicopter was shooting with the GSS, and to time it all it was really difficult. It really aligned well as far as the groups getting in position at the, at the right time. We got our line and then Angel got hers and then Max got his. It was just like doom, doom, doom. Three, two, one, go, go, go. After our 3.30 wake up, we were back in camp by about one o'clock. We had a view of Max's line. The sickle is somewhat of a closeout line because it has these two parallel chokes at the bottom. Very much of a no fall zone because you could potentially get raked over these ice bulges and cliffs. You're really in there and it's, there's a lot of like parts where your life's on the line. Kind of a crazy mindset. For us to be able to like set dates a month in advance, have the weather window work out, have everybody be feeling good, have all the crews be on top in the right time, and everything just worked really well in synchronicity. And you're like, oh my god, you just skied the skillet, you just skied the sickle, like you just skied the East Horn, and the three iconic lines on Mount Moran that are really hard to access, and some of the coolest lines in Jackson, like there we were, we did it all in one day, and everything just fired, and it was kind of magical.